This is an instructional video we made to help you understand the velocity and distance control unit coined the VCU of the Sondek Spectrum series. The VCU has three adjustments built into it. The first adjustment to make on the VCU is the positive stop. To adjust the positive stop, first loosen the lower collar and unlock the threaded key in the back. to then rotate the threaded shaft to increase or decrease the stroke of the machine. Please remember to lock the collar and the key ring. The VCU also comes with an integrated hydraulic speed control that decelerates the speed of the tool from the air cylinder and controls its velocity during the thermal process. To use this feature, unlock the upper collar and rotate the large black knurled body to adjust position. This adjusts the length. Please remember to lock the upper collar. The velocity of the VCU is controlled by the knob at the top of the large black knurled body. It's adjusted by grasping the center section of the VCU and then rotating it towards slow or fast. That adjusts how fast or slow the piston moves. Let me demonstrate. Fast. Slow. Very slow. Please note, you want the VCU's piston to hit the striker plate of the press right before the tooling makes contact with your part. This ensures that no stress is induced into your part, such as bending over the plastic post or cracking bosses, breaking gates, etc. Make sure you have enough stroke in the small piston for the length of your application. That is important. It could be longer, but not shorter, or the positive stop will become engaged, stopping all further Z-axis movement. The piston surface is the beginning of your application it starts the dwell time when it hits the sensor of the striker plate and the positive stop is the end of your application. That is the Sonatec VCU. Thank you.